braces and my feet are really hurting. Um, I haven't won anything yet, but I did win my money back and about 90p on a um, better each way race. Not really sure. Would you like me to ask? It's really boiling hot. I can't believe how hot it is. It's such a nice day. We're just going to pick up the people's winnings. Uh, no winnings for Jenna. I have actually found somebody who's like a piece of paper on the floor with loads of horses on who they were going to bet for. So I don't know whether to like sneakily steal their betting because they might be the secret bet. So I'm just talking to myself. Because they might be like the secret winners. That's what I was thinking anyway. There's a Pim's O'Clock tent over there. I'm going to have a Pim's O'Clock in a minute. What we have Pim's O'Clock? So we're going to take a look at these, George, you've been on fire today, picking winners right across the country. The first one we're looking at, Parish Boy, cheap pieces for the first time, a horse that came over from Ireland, a horse that has a two-year-old victory over Order of St George. I tell you what, if he was in that sort of form, the way Order of St George is now, he'd be very short for this race, wouldn't he? It certainly would be, as it is quite lightly raced over the past couple of years, uh, maybe it's, it's had his problems and uh, because of that, it's a 25 to 1 shot, but like you said, if he goes back to his juvenile form, some of the form he showed as a three-year-old, uh, could certainly give these something to think about. Not one that we think is going to take part, but worthy of a mention, nonetheless, for David Lockdown. And we'll just go back a little bit further and see horse number four, Kajaki. Kevin Ryan, already a winner today. Kevin Stott on board this one. Won it all just... Um, and beating Monaco Rose when it did back at Haydock in August last year. Yeah, it got some good form, uh, Kajaki, uh, owned by, by Frank Gillespie, of course, who owned uh, the Great Gatsby, who won the Irish Champions States a couple of years ago. And, uh, of course, that whole, this horse by the same stallion in, in Master Craftsman, who really stamps his stock, these dark greys uh, that you can see there. And, uh, yeah, the great I've got Greenview Paradise. I've done it. I've placed my bet. Who have you gone for? On the train. Here's my ticket. Yeah, I hope I win. To get you in it. Say hello. This is Sai. <laughs> well, I'm back from Chester races. I had a really good time. I won two races today. Yeah, I won two races. I won 90p and all my money back on one. And I won £21 on the other because I bet for the horse to win. Now to tidy up all this mess that I uh, went on when I was getting ready, ready before. Uh, quite pleased. My makeup seems to have stayed intact. I didn't have some of the foundation to come off. Um, so that's quite good. This lipstick I've got on is by Urban. De no, it's by Too Faced, um, and it's called It's Happening. These lip creams are like fantastic. I think. Just thought I'd let you know that. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed seeing the horses. Uh, I like seeing them trotting around the winner's paddock and the, you know, the bit, the enclosure where they like sort of like, I don't know what they're doing, showing off, and then the jockeys get on them. Uh, yeah, it's a really good day out. I really recommend it. It's only the second time I've been. I think it was about 2007. I last spoke with my friend Isabel. Right then, I'm going to. I'm running a bath actually now because. This morning I went for a run before uh, the races and my shoes, they really killed me, my lovely unicorn shoes. Uh, they weren't as good, they were comfortable to start off with and then my feet were nearly falling off. So let me know if you've been to Chester races uh, and if you've won any money on the horses when you've been.
Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And you can subscribe if you'd like to.